Hello there, beautiful people. We are back off out in the field, but we are in a new field today. We have had our permission extended due to the fact that we cannot touch these three fields. Bearing in mind, we are across the road from where we have had two Roman fibula brooches. We had the Elizabethan hammered sixpence. We've also had two love tokens. There's a lot of history over that side. And we are just over the other side. Just up this hill behind me is a Spanish beacon. Uh, so this is back to the Spanish Armada. So in 1588, one day after Elizabeth I came onto the throne, she, uh, she had to fight off the Spanish Armada using the beacons that I believe Mary had set up because Mary was executed. And then Elizabeth came in. It's something like that, so don't hold me to it, but it's something like that. We've had a surface find of a rover badge. Um, and yes, so just up the hill here is a Spanish Armada beacon. Just over this side is an Iron Age castle. So we will be discriminating, but we will try and leave some in. We've just had our first find down here, which is coming up at a very, very smooth. 1718. <laughs> And it is what looks like, oh, maybe it's not, maybe it's not, it's just a piece of copper. Um, I thought it was a thimble, that's why I thought I'd record it. Um, but rah, regardless, we got ourselves just a piece of copper there. Right, on to the next one. Actually, looking at the piece of copper, if you look here, it's got that little piece where the pin goes across. So I'm assuming this is an old book clasp, and it would sort of swung around and clipped into place. I may well be wrong, but it definitely swung on a hinge here. And it's definitely copper with a little hole here. So yes, my guess is book class, but it could be anything. Right on to the next one. Right guys, we got a bit of a sketchy signal here. Sounds a lot better now, but it's still sort of 12 to 23. But we just dug it out and it's looking like a mount of some description. Oh, it's flaking off actually. Oh no, it's, no, no, it's a bit of mud. But yeah, we got. Looks like a mount or possibly part of a candlestick or something. But we've had very similar in the other field. Hmm. So it's very squished. It looks like a. Yeah, possibly. I don't know, it could be anything, it could be off furniture. It's like, I think that's just where it's folded in. But it almost looks like a Roman disc brooch. Because the patina is quite green, it's not quite there, but I don't know. Right, on to the next one. Right guys, we've got another little signal here. Oh, it doesn't sound too nice now. So it's dipping down to 10, but up to 28. Where are we hiding? Oh. Ooh, this is flawed. Looking coinish. Ooh. Coin or button? Coin or button? I think we're a button. Oh, we're very crusty. Hmm. I'm uncertain. It's a very green colour. Hmm. It's um, too crusty to tell. Obviously, this, it was very green. Um, but yeah, there's just too much crust on it. Yeah, look how green that's gone. I wonder. I wonder if it's just been sat next to. It's pretty thick. I don't know. I'm going to call Button. But the, it wouldn't surprise me if that is possibly a Roman coin. Uh, no, I'm calling Button. Right, on to the next one. 
Right guys, we've got a screaming target here. Bearing in mind, we've been barely 10 meters in this field and we've just got signals everywhere. So that is a very promising sign. So between 20 and 21. Not very deep. Ah, there we go, I can see it. We are just a can. Couldn't tell you what it was. Um, so I don't know. Someone might know. <laughs> right, on to the next one. Right, guys, go about No target here. So we're 10 to 16. Just down there. Oh, I see some iron. Surely that's not it. So you know, there's an iron bolt here, but I can't imagine that being it. Apparently not. <laughs> As I say, you wouldn't get that sort of signal. Oh, I see it. Oh, we got a little buckle. Missing one of our little um, spikes. We've got ourselves a little suspender buckle. It would have had another spike across here. Lovely bubbly. Nice, cute little buckle. Right, on to the next one. Right, guys, I'm pretty sure this is pretty rubbish because this is an absolute screaming little signal. Solid 20, 21 occasionally. Just in in there. The signals are everywhere. I'm not used to this. I'm used to walking for 20 minutes to find a signal. I'm not going to be getting my steps in today. Thankfully I went for a big swim before. Just beautiful signal. It's got to be a can or something. Oh, I see it. What are you? Be a big old um, horse reins ring. A big ring of summit. Just in there. It's an absolute scorching little one. Yeah, I think we are. Yeah, there we go. Some people would tell you it's ring money, but no, we're just a um, horse rain ring or um, canvas ring of some description. On to the next. Right, guys, we've got a nice small target here, but it is a beautiful sound. So anywhere between 22 and 26. Look at that small. You're going to go quite big just there. It is very easy to dig here. And I do owe a lot of that down to the apparatus I am using. The bugger and ball is just fantastic. I had a bit of a dicey moment with it. Um, you doing a big old stone. I was moving a big, big stone and it bent slightly. And I was a bit anxious about it after that, but actually it, it, it didn't really move. There's a massive one there. Oh my word. Cool. Let's see if we can get something out there anyway. If not, I'll have to. Sounds like the central. Oh, 
very strange sound. Hmm. Let's move some of this out. So you're still down there. Let's try and shoot me that slightly. <laughs> it did say it was deep. So you need to try and believe this thing. Yeah, so we're not that deep. I'm guessing we're over in it. So we're in here. Oh, I see it. I think we got a coin. I don't think it's an old coin though. I think we got 20p. Oh. Maybe we're not 20p. Are we a penny? It is um, very worn. Oh, come on. There's the bust. I see a date. So we're a farthing. It's 1873. Bear with me, I'm just going to get a little square on it. Unfortunately, I've given a little brush over and you can't see a lot. Uh, it's definitely 1873, which is possibly Victoria, but this side is a bit crusty. I've even used my uh, magnifying glass to see if I can get a better um, view on it, because it is a fantastic new piece of care. If you get the light in right, but now 1873, I will tell you who it is right now. Right, on to the next. Right, guys, got a screaming little signal down here. My guess is this would be something old either a spoon or thimble this is my guess anywhere between eight and eleven it could be a shotgun shell mind you not hugely deep but it might be quite surprising because it is so wet we're right by the river here which i might well detect because obviously this was a um, thriving activity here uh, with it being the old corn mill I don't know how much of this was re-diverted uh, in the sort of 1700s but yeah I'd imagine we got something good coming sounds rather large is that it there? Oh, it is I'll tell you what it is no, you're part of it. It's very fragile. It had multiple holes. Just along here. Um, where was that one? Possibly there, something like that. Yeah. Definitely a copper of some description. Lots of holes. So that'll be why it was screaming at me. Right. Anyways, on to the next. Right guys, I'm not sure you can hear me over the road, it's got a bit busy, but we've got a belting little target down here. Lovely low numbers again, about 11 to 13. Actually, solid 11 12 now. We are directly by the river. I mean, we're probably, I mean, you probably see it. Um, yeah, it's a bit scrappy dappy, but it might be quite nice to get in there, especially with the, um, oh, with the history. And with me being allowed in this, this is always pasture apparently, so um, we've got another field just up the hill which has, used to have I should say, a building in it, which is very promising. Yeah, no, I just, I, can I just say, 11,000 subscribers. I literally went to bed going, oh we're at 9,850 and I was like, that's going to be, hopefully, hopefully by the morning, especially with the way it was going up, 
we're gonna hit that 10,000 mark. And then we hit 11,000, what is going on? So make sure you share the love in the comments. Make sure you comment on that other video for a chance to get in with that giveaway as well. It's gonna be a belting one. So we weren't very deep. It's lovely to come the worms here. Any more? I see it. There we go. No! We're a, um, it's not a milk lid, but a lid for some sort of, um, I don't know, what do we call it? A, a juice or something back in the day. Right, on to the next one. I couldn't resist, I had to get near the river. Um, we've got a lovely little pit here, um, but we've got a bell and signal here. It's on the 25-26. Nope. I can't tell you what that is, but it's it. Ooh, my word. Uh, we're very solid and we had an edge um, and we had like a very flat edge up this side with a little lip it's not massively sharp I'm unsure yeah, flat on this edge very flat on this edge with a little lip came down to something I don't know right on to the next Right guys, got another screaming little target down here. 17, 18, 16, 15. Just down under that stone there, apparently. Oops. sure it's like part of an old printing do for what's it or it could have been anything yeah got some age to it all through the top there it's quite crude actually but I could have been anything <laughs> right on to the next one sorry about that I could not resist right we got ourselves another belt and target here 16 to 18 Mainly 17 to be quite honest. Screaming little thing. Did not. Oh, it's so weird having sunlight. Um, we had a whole day of sun where I was painting our house and I was like, oh. It's just a shame that every other day this weekend is going to be rain and um, the storm just blew off. And we were like, well, blew off, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it just went the other way and we are like, oh, here we go. So, we did have a lot of rain this morning, but it's majority been pretty good. Um, especially this afternoon, hence managing to get out and go for a swim and managed to get out and come out metal detecting. Ooh. Right, we're out, out. We've come off over here somewhere. Oh, he had a feeling for you. It was just a rusty old rusty, I think. That's rubbish. Is that you? Like, I've got a feeling that can't be the signal, but I think it might be. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. So we are a rusty piece, but inside the rust. So that shows the discrimination. We got ourselves a pull tab, um, or like a ring pull in the middle of all this rust. Right, on to the next one. Right guys, there's about a metre left of where we, well, sorry, a metre right of where we found the ring pool. We got this. 
It's a lot higher. It doesn't sound too bad. Um, yeah, it's quite loud. I don't have massive amount of faith in it. And if it turns out to be rubbish, I'll be moving over to the other side of the field. But um, yeah, I just couldn't resist a little dip in the river, cool off the old Andy Pandies, and um, yeah, it was, it was nice. It was nice. I haven't done some river detecting in a good while. Oh, I see it. We're a heffing great. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Now that is a horseshoe if ever I saw one. It's a ginormous hand. Look how thick that thing is. I mean, you could probably tell how old it is. It's not going to be massively old, but it's a proper workhorse, isn't it? Um, through the mountain nails. Is it three? Either side? I don't know. But it's colossal. Right, on to the next one. Right, we've left that load alone. We've come away from the river now. Uh, we've got a belt mill target here. It's really hard to pinpoint, so I'm guessing it's rubbish. But it is a lovely high signal. 26, 27, 29, 23, 13. This around that, I'm going to do fairly big because um, it's really easy to dig there, for one. And two, it's, yeah, like I said, the pinpointing is really sketchy. Which makes me think iron, but the high levels, uh, the high sound, sounds more, like, then again, it could be a can or something else, but Although you'd imagine we could have better pinpoint than it was, so. Right. It did sound deep, which is what I'm hopeful for. I'm unsure. Oh, this is deep. Very, very deep. To have a signal that loud. Very, very. Oh my word, it's so easy to do that. What's that? That's a bit of stick. Oh, we are a blooming great coin. My first cartwheel penny. <laughs> oh yeah. I can see the, um, that is deep, man. I mean, I want to show you how just how deep that is. You can see the ridge on that. I'm not going to clean it up, but yeah. Oh, my first cartwheel penny still can see the say so, oh what's the date on it oh i'll pop it on the screen there's w only one year that these were made cartwheel penny it might be a half penny but it might be a penny i'm not sure but we'll give it a good dry scrub you can see it better on that side look oh i can't believe it i mean they're not even that uncommon but i've never had one so yeah right i want to show you how deep that was so that came out of, so this is the best part of what, seven inches? And <laughs> my finger is on top of it. I know you can't see over that, but that is deep. Oh my word, the depth on that machine, crikey. And how good is that shovel? Right, on to the next one. Right guys, we've got a screaming gray signal here. 22, 23. Um, again, it feels big, but the targeting is quite small, so it may well be we've got another one. Same sort of high tone, maybe not quite as high. Sorry, I'm just bearing in mind, we got, um, I can hear geese, Canada geese, and um, we rescued a Canada goose, uh, well, 
kind of the gosling um, from it was just left alone and it was just going to go down the river so we managed to rescue it after the neighbor's dog attacked it and um, we've got it in a box in our house and we're waiting for the parents to return but they haven't yet and um, we've had it for the best part of 24 hours now and we'd quite like to give it back to their mummy and daddy it's back high again and we're very very deep again But I can't get anything with the pinpointer. Go on. Yep. I see it. Oh my word, what are you? Very weak. The rubber, but we got something in it. Um, pass, foot plate for something, it's broken off. Oh, no, we're cat size. Oh, these look like a crude old one. Set of cat size, look. <laughs> I can't imagine the last time this road ever had cat size. Oh, no. Yeah, you can see them in there, look. Oh. Yeah, I mean, we've been here for, it looks pretty old to be quite honest. Um, here's some cat size, that's pretty cool. Quite happy with cat size. Right, on to the next. Hi right, guys, we're at a random bit in the field, which is loads of sort of like, it looks like it's been dug out, but it's so, so compressed, but there's nothing there. And we got something just here. Anywhere between 13 and 22. see what we got. All right, we sounded even better. We're not very deep, but then again, like I said, this is a lot more condensed. Ah, we've just rubbish. No! We're our first moo tube, I think. Yep, yeah, we're our first moo tube of the day. Right, I, there are sheep up this way, so I'm assuming that's why, but we've been so lucky. We've been so lucky. Right, on to the next. Right guys, got a cracking little signal here. We're here between 15 and 29. The more I think about it, it's probably likely a moo tube, but um, I don't know whether that's because I've just had one. My first moo tube of the day. But, I think this is a very promising little area, especially if we can get this grass down. Um, we got another field, like I said, further up with it's got a, uh, uh, well, had a building here, which is going to have been sort of probably around the same era, I'd imagine, as the um, mill. So I'm guessing sort of 1400s. Have no idea. It could just be like a building in the farm that has been knocked down, but still, Good chance. It's deep again. Sounds nice though. There's a bit of a crooky bit to it. It sounds a little dirty, but it might be right. wherever we are in here and again we're one of those we're a um we are just a little buckle from an old horse right on to the next one right guys a huge thank you for getting me over 11,000 subscribers i genuinely i cannot believe it <laughs> i really cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart that is just insane we had a pretty good evening my first cartwheel penny Yes, we've had a possible Victorian um, half penny, something like that. 
Yeah, we've had some pretty good finds actually. We've had a good little bu belt buckle, some little weird bits from a river. I got to dip in the river, so that's always fun. <laughs> so thank you ever so much. Please check out LP Metal Detecting with the code Bigfoot Finding for 10% off. And also please check out the previous video, which is an amazing giveaway of about 700 pounds worth of kit. You've got the Q30 Plus all given away. All you gotta do is comment in the comment down below on that video. Also, you can get an additional entry through buying through LP or making a donation to the channel through PayPal. Obviously, some people in different countries cannot order through LP. So if you would like an additional um, entry into the giveaway, please feel free to do so. You've got until the end of the month. So thank you ever so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers now.